Did you know the jet has 24 karat gold seat belts? With a price tag of $100 million, it has two Rolls-Royce engines that can reach speeds of up to 500 miles per hour or 800 kilometers per hour, and it can stay in the air for 16 hours. This Boeing 757, previously owned by Microsoft's Paul Allen, was bought and refurbished by the Trump brand to fly only 43 people in total. Did you know that everyone started calling this Boeing 757 Trump Force One since the 2016 election? It's true. This $100 million aircraft is the epitome of luxury flying. Some sheiks would envy the inside of Trump Force One. The ceilings are made from ultra suede, the seats high-grade leather, and the headrests have the Trump family crest embroidered on them. In total, there are 18 executive class seats, two bedrooms, and two sofas in the media room. The interior of the plane is covered in either leather, suede, gold, or rare mahogany wood, like all of the cabinets. There's even a private dining room where Trump has meals, depending on the length of the flight. The screening room is as big as a large home theater with a 57-inch flat-screen TV and an entertainment system complete with small, separate monitors on each seat for an individualized experience. The plane has two bedrooms, one of which is the guest room. The main bedroom is where you'll find the full-size bed with silk sheets, a shower, a small golden sink, and a golden faucet. The toilet bowl is transformed into an extra seat, extra wide and comfortable, just like every other seat on the plane. If you were to melt all of the gold inside the Trump plane, there's enough to coat the outside of a Greyhound bus. All of the food for flights is prepared at Trump Tower. The usuals include shrimp cocktails, lobster salad, roast turkey, roast filet of beef, a green salad, and some freshly baked cookies. The food is stored in plastic see-through containers. The reason for this is simple. Airport security will have an easy time inspecting the food. As soon as it's ready, the food is picked up from Trump Tower and delivered to the T-Bird, another name for Donald Trump's private jet. After the pilot confirms the destination airport has the necessary equipment to service this Boeing 757, they take off. For all of you interested in the price range, we should tell you that one hour of flight cost Donald Trump an astonishing $10,800. During the self-funded campaign for president, it's worth noting that Trump allocated $506,000 for private travel on board his plane. The plane's history started with Denmark's Sterling Airlines in 1991, the same year it was built. Then, two years later, Mexico's TESA acquired the plane in 1993. After that, in 1995, Paul Allen, the founder of Microsoft and Bill Gates' good friend, smashed that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already! But no, in all seriousness, he bought the plane from TESA and used it until 2011. At this point, DJT Operations One LLC, a company of Trump's, purchased the plane. The plane is three times the size of an average jet. It measures 154 feet or 47 meters long, has a wingspan of 128 feet or 39 meters, and a height of 46 feet or 14 meters at the tail. It's powered by two state-of-the-art Rolls-Royce RB211 turbofan engines, which are the quietest in the industry. This allows the former president to land the plane at any airport he pleases, even those with noise restrictions. It can reach an altitude of 41,000 feet in less than 20 minutes thanks to the powerful engines. One of the things Trump pays special attention to is the parts of the plane during servicing. He doesn't want switches and mix-ups. Replacements are strictly forbidden. The man behind the plane is John Duncan, who was the son of a military pilot. Since the age of 15, Duncan has been flying airplanes, first alongside his father and then as a licensed pilot. But then he wanted to fly private planes. He needs to plan every flight to perfection. And this is how the average flight procedure unfolds. According to the pilot, because former President Trump has a busy and unpredictable schedule, they often have to make short notice changes to the flight, and everything must be integrated seamlessly before takeoff. First, the pilot and co-pilot go out on the tarmac and make an official inspection of the outside of the plane. After that comes the flight checklist, which is where the pilot and the co-pilot make sure everything inside the cockpit is in perfect working order. They know exactly when Donald Trump will arrive, so they have to be ready in advance. Just like everyone else, Donald Trump has to go through security. After clearing, he boards the plane. Immediately upon entering, the first thing he does is greet the pilots and the crew. Then he goes into the cabin and inspects everything. And we mean everything. Here's what Donald Trump said about the inspection process. 
The first thing I do when I get on this aircraft is look around for details. I always study the details. Everything needs to be sparkling clean and shiny. Simply put, the billionaire wants everything to be as close to perfection as possible. Finally, Donald Trump decides when to take the plane to be serviced. The maintenance facility doing the servicing usually has to work two shifts to get the plane ready for the next trip. After all, they only have about three weeks to do the routine inspection and then make the necessary upgrades. Every 18 months, the pilot has to do a major routine inspection as per requirements of the FAA. For example, in 2013, Trump wanted to install a Wi-Fi system on board the aircraft, so while the crew was working on the inspection, inside the plane there was another crew installing the wiring for the Wi-Fi system. Trump wanted the seam in the floor in the galley to be moved to the corners to render it invisible. That's how much attention Trump pays to minute details many would consider unnecessary. While the plane is being maintained and upgraded, Pilot Duncan will head out to the facility to inspect and assess the situation. He says that he likes to be present anytime the aircraft goes through a major inspection. And here's what the inside of the luxury plane looks like during the servicing. All of the furniture is dismantled, moved around, and covered with plastic. The walls with the gorgeous suede are torn open, exposing the wiring underneath. In the meantime, while this plane is being serviced, Donald Trump refuses to charter a plane or fly on a commercial flight. He will smash that subscribe button and ring the notifications bell. But no, in all seriousness, he will take his smaller 1997 Cessna 750 Citation 10. The cabin of this plane is not as high as the Boeing 757, but it gets the job done. Inside it measures only 5 feet and 7 inches or 170 centimeters, and when it was purchased, the Citation 10 was the fastest business jet in the world. After the presidency, this became his main transport aircraft, which he would fly to Manhattan. From the airport, Trump probably got inside one of the three helicopters owned by the Trump Organization, and he would fly to the helipad of Trump Tower where he would conduct business meetings. Still, the pilot and the maintenance team need to be on time and ready. The business tycoon and former president runs a tight schedule, and he doesn't want to be late. After the major upgrades are complete, ceiling is installed panel by panel, and the furniture is screwed into place, making sure all the seams fit perfectly together. They have to make sure nothing is changed, and not a drop of sweat falls on the furniture since this will damage the leather. As soon as all of the plastic covers are removed, the floor is scrubbed with a special detergent. The pilot calls himself a neat freak, so he helps with the scrubbing. A special brush and a can of air are used to clean all of the dirt from the seams. Every little speck of dust is wiped off, since former President Trump wants the plane in mint condition, as he calls it. For this, the pilot will take a big, soft brush and brush the grain of the suede ceilings, making sure all of it is going from left to right. The inside cleaning is accompanied by a paint job on the outside. To show you just how much attention to detail there is, take a look at this guy. He's painting one of the screws half white and half red. Why? Because the screw is on the seam where the colors meet, and they can't risk painting the whole screw white or red. After completing all of this, the plane is ready for takeoff. The pilot will align his flight schedule perfectly with that of Trump's schedule, and they will pick him up wherever he is. After only a short stay at the airport, the plane will soar to the sky and take Trump to Europe or Asia, where he has business deals to close, contracts to sign, and speeches to give. Bye for now!